Welcome to the Read Book Program. We are talking today with Lanisha Cassell and Felicity Wolf of the African American Museum of Iowa. Because of course I like all of the exhibits that we've had, but I think by far my favorite has been Untangling the Roots, the Culture of Black Hair, on which explored how standards of beauty are defined and by whom. Um, you know, we still live in a, um, in a nation and a world where conformity is expected. Um, I think we did a great job of really exploring um, that whole idea of beauty standards. Um, and it really um, engaged a lot of uh, people. Of course, it happened, uh, we had the exhibit opening during the, um, or it was open right before the pandemic hit. And so we had a short-lived run of it, but um, it was very well received in the community. And I think it opened the eyes of a lot of people about what people of color um, in particular experience today in terms of uh, hair type, texture, um, style. Um, and it, it was just a really intriguing um, and informative uh, exhibit. Um, I feel like the one we have up now, unwavering um, about 21st century social movements uh, and protest, I think by far is my favorite because I feel like this is the most contemporary one we've ever done, it is so able to kind of take, I feel like people's mindset out of like, say what a, what a, what people's idea of a museum is, that it's the, a stuffy type of institution that has, you know, old dusty things to show and isn't relevant to me in my life. Um, and then it takes it out of that and puts it right into the, to the community and into people's mindsets museum gives you the opportunity to go back in time a little bit and see the struggles that have happened that have led up to this point and why it continues to be an issue. Um, so obviously the one that's next is one that I'm really looking forward to because not only did um, the museum team have a, a play a large role in kind of narrowing the focus of the different topics that we have, but we also invited the community to participate in a survey. Um, so Mapping Exclusion, Redlining in Iowa is the next exhibit, which opens in September. And so it's gonna be exploring um, systemic issues within every aspect of our society, um, from um, healthcare and, but a, to education, with a focus on mortgage lending um, and unfair housing um, to make our communities, uh, the makeup of our communities, which are still um, impacting how they um, look and how people have access or limited access to resources. I think that, you know, whenever someone comes in, yeah, I think people have expectations about what they're going, especially their first time, an expectation of what they're going to learn and how they're going to feel. And I think the thing we feel that is valuable about what our content has to offer is that it gives you a historical perspective on where we are today. I think that um, uh, there's so much information that is not taught by traditional methods in, school, in our school system and in our school books, history books. Um, that people often are surprised um, by what they learn. And so I think there's a, you know, there's that idea of if you understand the hows and the whys a little bit better, you can understand what's going on right now. And I think it really does uncover or unmask, uh, if you will, um, in the way we live today and some of the issues we're facing right now as a society, the injustices, the inequities. Um, I think when people learn a little bit more about what's happened in the not so distant past, oftentimes, um, that they get a better understanding of where we are right now. Um, I was excited to find a picture of Grace Allen Jones, who she had actually started a school in Burlington, an industrial school, uh, on her own to teach black and white children uh, home economics and you know industrial arts, that kind of uh, thing. I just think, oh, here's this phenomenal woman that nobody talks about. I'm so glad I found her in the collection. We received a textbook. It's an old Iowa geography textbook from the 19 teens. In the textbook, it, it shows, um, it, it has a discussion about the various races in the world. I love the book because here is an Iowa tie to things being taught to children as scientific fact that to promote the idea that your skin color defines how intelligent you are and you know and things like that and just how 
this book is a perfect example of how these things get ingrained in our minds as fact we're being taught this in school um, and how that continues through the generations you know leading us to today and I and I think that um, the, the, the items that are a little more ugly um, benefit me because I'm not of color to understand or, or get some understanding I mean I can't step into you know the shoes of a person of color but I it gives me a better understanding of what even I myself grew up with and how my thinking may not be the best thinking but the mission is is to preserve items that speak to the black history of the state. Um, I would really rather have um, items that help to tell individual stories of the community and across the state. And I feel like we don't have, you know, enough statewide representation. But there's so many people who were so, who were and are valuable to the community um, that that we just don't have items or I think some people think that oh you know my grandfather did all this stuff and you know it's important to us but I doubt anybody else cares you know no we we care we <laughs> we, we want um, you know we 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 want the stories that, that speak to to the black experience in the state that we are really missing military items especially um anything past world war ii honestly korea vietnam uh, contemporary history but we're really missing probably 60s onward um that that we could really we could really use